Knights. And he's under a harsh spotlight tonight. Darren Barker and Joshua Brazzi are with me ringside. Jim Rosenthal here. Welcome to a fantastic sporting occasion if you are just joining us. No one knows what's going to happen here. But we're about to find out. Off we go. Do not take your eyes off this for a second. Josh, how are you feeling? Well, um, not a lot to say. Um, no, I wasn't. I just want your feelings of being here at ringside and seeing this fight. Honestly, very, very nervous. Absolutely packed arena here. Now, Joshua has lost weight. Louise, unless he's been kidding us, has put on a step of weight. Doesn't look that much different to me, if I'm honest, and I think they let him fight where he is comfortable. And Joshua will want to keep this fight a distance as much as he can. He'll want to get back to the boxing he's been working so hard on in Sheffield and keep this dangerous, quick-handed Mexican away. The box behind him. Remember, he was training for Jarrell Miller, and at five weeks' notice, Andy Ruiz got the call and shot the world. This time, he's had a lot longer, Joshua, to prepare, but so too has Ruiz. Joshua trying to get the jab in on that damage. The white trunks and white boots, and the gold. The white trunks and white boots, and the gold of Ruiz Jr., who says he will give absolutely everything to take those belts back to Mexico. We know they'll be heading west, but where will they be stopping? Good jabs from Ruiz Jr. there. Fantastic work. Yeah, hard double jab from Ruiz, pushing in behind. He's snapping the head back of Joshua. He know, you know, Joshua's knocked him into action now. He's a lot more purposeful here. He's coming forward. He's sharp now. He doesn't want to take any more of those right hands that he took in that first round. The thing he's got to be aware of there is backing up and lifting his chin up. Now, when them two double, when them double jabs landed from Andy Ruiz, another right hand, down. great shot from Joshua, and the cut opens again. 
battle of the champs at the moment. Joshua he's got to, one in. He's got to keep going back on the angle, Adam. He can't go back in straight lines lifting his head up. And he did before, but on the second time he hasn't done it. So he's coming out on the angle all the time, which takes away Andy Ruiz's right hand over the top. All about distance, isn't it? And Absolutely. The way he's using his feet. Yep, and he's keeping it. This is the range he wants to fight long. Keep it long, where you can land those hard right hands, those good jabs, keeping him at that range. Good left hook. Nice left hook after both exchange jabs to the body, and he's looking a bit busted up. Ruiz early on in the fight, and this long spearing jab of Joshua is working a treat. He's boxing brilliantly here. It's a lovely fluid jab. It's fluid and it's it's quick. Ruiz can't stop it. He can't see it coming. And the thing with Ruiz is, yes, he, he's, he's cute inside, but he doesn't know what to do at this kind of range. He's lost. Looking for the right hand again, Joshua. And a big shot as well. And Ruiz in trouble. Inside the last minute of the second. He was just unsteady there, complaining a bit about the back of the head. But it's been a really good start this for Joshua. He's caught. But he is cut as well by the left eye. So both cut. How did that happen? There's a clash of heads, Adam. Head clash caused the cut. So both cut. It, we knew there would be drama second time around. And there is already with so many rounds to go. The difference here that Adam AJ was cut from a head clash and Ruiz was not cut from a punch. So if this does go to point after four rounds, Anthony Joshua wins. If, the, if Ruiz can't box on with the cut, if it goes to point because of Joshua, goes to the points. Joshua's boxing cut. well here, he's boxing, he's controlling the range, he's not he's not standing in front of Ruiz, he's not panicking, he's back on his toes, he looks nice and relaxed, he's jabbed good, his right hands are really perfectly. Yeah, you know what it is as well. And he, he has to be very wary because if he gets wobbled as he was at Madison Square Garden in Ruiz, there is a man who has been through the boxing mill and knows, knows exactly how to finish things off. A jab working well from Joshua as well. Lighter on his feet to detect that with less weight. Lighter on his feet, more mobile. Spearing that left jab out. Already I've seen that he's bringing it straight back to his chin as opposed to his waist like he was in the first contest. Good defense by Joshua there. But again, Ruiz stalking Anthony Joshua. Looking very patient, not wasting anything. He's uh, such a clever fighter, despite his bulk, which he's always carried and wears lightly and wears with a smile as well. And as he's been having a bit of a joke at us about exactly how much he weighs. But make no mistake, the jab is good, the hands are fast as well. The feet might not be the quickest in the business. But a very effective fighter and a very tough one to beat. Only Joseph Parker has managed to beat Ruiz and that was in New Zealand. And that decision was controversial to say the least. And when Ruiz got the opportunity at Madison Square Garden, he took it. And he's got the taste of being a champion. He doesn't want to relinquish it here. Absolutely. Already created legacy, becoming Mexico's first heavyweight champion in the world. But that's not enough for him. He wants to continue reigning in this division. And there's some big opportunities out there for him, but he has to get past this challenger. And Anthony Joshua, who's desperate to get his titles back. Boxing well. A lot of movement from Joshua. So I think this weight that he's at will help him be more nimble, be able to move more. Last time out was very muscle bound, wasn't he? He, he, he was, he was. Um, what I'm noticing here is we're, not, what we're seeing in this fight is different angles. Um, notice when Josh is moving, he's, he, he's not moving in the same pattern. He's changing, he's going to his left, he's going to his right. This is confusing when you've good shots at the body there from Josh. Yeah, good stuff from Anthony Joshua from AJ. Four titles on the line here that do not forget. And a good round for Joshua, this one. Ruiz, as we tip towards the end of oh, this one. Beautiful Ruiz. run in the bag. Yeah, Ruiz realises, or he believes, he can't believe. Four rounds, Joshua has probably started just the better. Never discount the skills and the fast hands of Ruiz Jr. Proud Mexican.
falling a bit for that jab this time. Just was, was just gonna touch on that on that gym. Um, what he's doing with that jab, he's fending him off. It's making Ruiz have to think twice before he comes in. Whereas if that jab wasn't there, Ruiz could move him straight down and unload on him. But that's making Ruiz think. The moment he's thinking, Josh is moving. Josh is unloading punches. Great tactics. Darren, different Joshua here tonight. Yeah, absolutely. Switched on. We can see exactly what the game plan is from the off. So outbox the heavier. I was about to say slow, not slow with hand, but definitely the feet are slower than Joshua's, and this is good. Good boxing is what we've seen him do so well in the amateurs, capturing that goal in 2012, and it looks like he's going back to basics here, working well behind that jab. I think he's going to try and lure Ruiz in and try and walk him on to that right hand. Joshua has dedicated his life to this for the boxing. Good exchange there in the middle, 15 years, he's compared it to a prison sentence of, of routine, of hard training, and he says he's not prepared to give it up yet, even though he's got enough money to last him several lifetimes, and he wants to re-establish what he considered a wrong. Guys, I'd like to pick up New York. Certainly, I'd like to pick up this. Just on that exchange, with his forward hit him, Josh replied, I'm not hurt, you didn't get me. He's in there, he's present, he knows what's happening, he wasn't touched. It's nice to see that. Oh, we're going to get the last, last word in the arguments. AJ knows how valuable these rounds are. Doesn't want him to slip away, especially with these tactics. Or try out box Ruiz. And he's not being too greedy, though. He's not going to like him. He's in, he's in every quick enough. He has made a very good start here, certainly compared to what happened at the Garden. A miles better start. The fight was unravelling at this stage in Madison Square Garden in New York. Not this time. Joshua restoring a bit of normal service, but still being uh, stopped by Ruiz. He was surprisingly nimble fellow on his feet, just despite the belt that he carries. Good right hand, Joshua. Did Ruiz get his gloves up there for that one? And just masked by that one. Good left from Joshua, too. Unloading here, Anthony Joshua. Good action here in the fourth round. AJ let his fist fly. That's his Ruiz, good stuff. Take it to the knee. Oh, oh, big overhand right. Big overhand right, Ruiz. He's finishing strongly this. And just for a moment there, Joshua and Red are taking two more behind the back of the head. End of the round. Joshua going, was that round no, over or not? Great finish to that last round. Little word from the referee Luis Pabon, the 53 year old Puerto Rican. Those are fierce exchanges inside. And Ruiz, the champion, got the better of them. Just worrying how he looked when he was under fire there, Anthony Joshua. Yeah, it was a big coughing shot right at the back of the head of AJ. And we've seen how vulnerable he was there around that area in the first fight. So maybe it was a tactic from Ruiz to try and rough AJ up when he does get in close and try and land around the back and the side of the head. And in that moment, we saw why the great debate was raging about this fight. Could Joshua change it around? What happens when he gets into trouble? And we got half an answer there. See the quick feet of Ruiz then when he moves back. You know, he does struggle sometimes moving forward quickly with his feet. And his hands do go in front of his feet. And he does fall short at times, as we see there. But going backwards, he really does get out of range good. Joshua, very keen to keep this at range. I get the impression once they get inside like here, Joshua tends to come off second best. Because uh, with that, uh, a lot of Cuban coaching and the Mexican background, they love it at close quarters, don't they? Indeed. Though I do think Anthony Joshua is a good in the inside fight. We've seen the first fight, the white the cut, the left hook, the drop Ruiz. It was good stuff, but this is a good discipline round again from AJ looking to work behind that jab there it is and again that we work taking his time really looking for the opening for that right hand doesn't want to overreach and fall short good work up from Anthony Joshua just shows the benefit of all that preparation he's put in dedicating himself up there in Sheffield good jab again from Joshua beating Ruiz to the punch very comfortably there standing tall standing right on his feet as well He's just reddening up a little bit around the face of those. Both those cuts are not worse than at all. Good overhand right from, from Joshua. 
what I'm talking about there, Jim, when he does throw the jab and throws his shot through. Sometimes he can and come over his front foot. That allows Joshua to try and find his counter shots. That's a good right hand back. Really took the sting out of that. Another good round this uh, for Anthony Joshua. Last 30 seconds of it. And finishing pretty strongly, Joshua, here. And after those uncertain moments at the end of the fourth, he has come back pretty well in the fifth. Good style, keeping Ruiz at bay. That cut is bleeding a little bit down the side of Ruiz's face. It shouldn't have any real impression on this fight, though. And we'll get Josh Glatz's thoughts at the end of the round. In the brick can't dis destroy the whole building. And don't forget that defeat at Madison Square Garden was his first since he was an amateur way back in 2011. So they've trimmed him down, they've lost a bit of muscle, they've gone back to boxing basics, they've got rid of a lot of commercial stuff while he prepared for this fight. And so far, as we come towards the halfway stage, it has been paying off down. Yes, indeed. Boxing, boxing nicely. Oh, good work. Right that one in from AJ. Left to back from Ruiz. Another right hand from AJ. Let him in. Fist flying in the sixth round. Again, you see the lead hand there again. He held it out, he fenced it, he moved Ruiz into a less vulnerable into a much more vulnerable position. So beautiful boxing. Excellent stuff from the former champion Anthony Joshua, who is uh, edging ahead in this fight as things stand. But as we all know, Ruiz, the fast hands, the Mexican, has it in his power to change things around very, very quickly. It does indeed. Still stalking. Joshua seems to be following, following him around the ring as opposed to cutting him off. They're still thinking, maybe he's thinking they'll take it into the later rounds. This is really good seeing, seeing Joshua fight like this. He's worked so hard to address the balance, a real psychological blow to him after what happened. And you've got so many theories thrown around, no one really knows the truth, but we're seeing the truth, the real Joshua deal up there now. And Ruiz coming forward, trying to get a foothold, really, in this sixth round. He's not able to get close yet, Jim. Still, he's had off the pace. He's fallen short a couple of times. Like I said, he seems to be following AJ round the ring as opposed to cutting him off. But it's good, sensible, disciplined boxing from Anthony Joshua at the minute. Lovely left Great jab, Great jab to him. Into a hook at the moment. And the work that has been put in is paying off. As a legend of the sport, if there is one. Yeah, they like it. Final. Definitely, Adam. This, tonight he will have felt, and everybody else feels, his career is on the line. And that can, that can ignite the beast within. And it can make you perform on a level you've never known you was even capable of yourself. And so far, this is what it looks like. This is a master So far, this is what it looks like. This is a masterclass from Anthony Joshua. He's patient. He's picking his shot, that ball from Andy Ruiz. He pulls the man down, whacks him in the body. But listen, that's frustration from Ruiz. It is. But all is fair in war, Adam. And, you know, you have to be prepared for these things to happen. It's it's amazing amount of concentration. That was against Joseph Parker. Second half of this compelling and fascinating rematch. And round number seven, when Anthony Joshua's well fell apart just off Broadway in early June. But it doesn't, at the moment, look like that's happening all over again. There was the threat of lightning earlier, Matt, and at the moment it doesn't look like lightning will strike twice, but Andy Ruiz Jr., dangerous for as long as he's in there. Yeah, he's still dangerous. He's stalking uh, Joshua, who's trying to cut the ring up. Doesn't have quick enough feet, really, to, to get to Joshua just now, but, you know, we're only in the seventh round here. Fatigue might set in later on, and maybe he does get... Uh, close to Joshua, maybe he catches him and hurts him. Still a long way to go yet. Joshua has to stay focused. Ruiz being ticked off by Ruiz by very experienced referee Luis Pavon for 
around the back of the head punch. Joshua just seemed to me to be planting his feet a bit more. For a couple of those right hands, he let go. He's softening Ruiz up. Will he try and take him out, or will he box his way through the 12 rounds? And just and he is planting his feet a bit more. He wants it. He wants to hit Ruiz. I really think he wants to stop him in his tracks because he won't enjoy moving this much, and it will end up fatiguing you, you know, as the rough rounds go on. So. He knows he can hurt Andy Ruiz. Right hand from Ruiz. When he gets close and he can get that hand speed off, it does spell a bit of danger for Joshua on the inside. Looking for the right hand, Joshua. Oh, and it turns into a touch of toe to toe. And that's what Ruiz will want here. Yeah, he ties him up, and that's the experience. That's where he's learned to do first. They came together, he tied him up, and the referee breaks them. He didn't get involved in a shootout. He didn't go into an exchange. I think he, he's feeling the pace here a little bit, Anthony Joshua. And I think, you know, the second win will be coming within these next couple of rounds, and, and he's just going to have to see this round out and go and get his breather. Just talking to Ruiz in there and banging his heart. Anthony Joshua, Ruiz Bits. I think he trains in first as well, back home in California, so you just don't know when another good shot Bits will come right out, hand. and a right hand from oh. Joshua. You know, then he ties Ruiz up, and that's the smart thing to do, that's what Robert Cracker told to do, don't be getting caught in that medium distance exchange, you don't be hooking with a hooker, when you get close, tie him up, and that's what he's been doing, and that's good for Joshua. I'm going to have, I still think... There's, there's a there's a twist in this fight I really do and it might be Andy Ruiz hitting the floor heavy but I just feel that Anthony he's going to get rushed at some point at some point in this fight Ruiz is going to put all his cards on the table and go for it yeah I agree with you up to now Joshua's to make up and he knows he has to have some sort of stoppage last 30 seconds round eight if he's got to hang on to those titles has to stick to purely the game plan and stay to business Andy Ruiz needs Anthony Joshua to want to get involved in this fight for him to stand a chance. Another right hand to the... He just attempts to get inside and a right hand there. And Joshua just unsteady. And here comes Andy Ruiz Jr. Now what will Joshua do? Will he fight fire with fire? Or will he try and stick to the jab and move tactics? He's trying to hold on and it's clever. He just needs to create that distance again now and be clean from the outside. That's very That's good, good from Joshua. That's good from Joshua. Mixing the jab up, head out body and then getting back on his bike. Don't stand in front of Ruiz. Ruiz looking for the right hands to the body. The legs are strong and I'm going to be honest guys, Ruiz is getting more and more frustrated as the round passes. He's got one big hurrah in him, Andy Ruiz, I'm pretty sure of it. I don't think this is it right now. But I do think it's going to come. Right to the left from Ruiz. I still think he's dangerous. Tony, Joshua, just all at sea there and holds on. Better from Ruiz. Andy Ruiz Jr. getting closer getting success it's happened much later in the fight than many would have thought we felt he'd really go for it he said it was round eight at the beginning of the night just take off where he left off in the garden but he's getting going in the latter parts of this fight andy ruiz and anthony josh Die rechterhand aan beide fighters zullen zich moeten laten zien om het gevecht naar zich toe te trekken. Trovin met die uh, snelle handen en die Ruiz. Ja. Joshua staat wat vaster lijkt het nu. 
gaat het natuurlijk ook wel voelen zo langzamerhand. Ja, en ik, en, 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 wilt hij als, uh, als uitdager die titel pakken, zal hij toch nog wat dingen moeten doen hoor in die laatste drie rondes. Ja, is mijn zal hij extra moeten scoren? Ja, dat is mijn gevoel hoor nu op dit moment. Om echt goed te laten zien dat hij de betere bokser is. Heeft dat gedaan in verschillende rondes. Maar Ruiz als champ is een aantal rondes naar zich toegetrokken. Dus zeg het maar. Ja. Het is aan de jury om het wellicht straks te beslissen. Als er geen knock-out gaat komen. Weer scoren met die uh, linkse directe. Ze komen er zo af en toe wel door die dekking heen. Even de armen los schudden bij Andy Ruiz. Ja, dit is goed. Dus wel. Jay. Heeft weer de controle nu. En de rust. Ja, hij gaat wat spelen nu ook. En voelt misschien toch ook de kracht dat hij genoeg heeft gedaan. En genoeg rondes naar zich toe heeft getrokken. Ja, dit doet hij goed. Nou, we hebben het natuurlijk continu over de handspeed van Andy Ruiz. Maar Joshua heeft toch ook snelle handjes, hè? Ja, zeker. Beweegt makkelijk. Dat is het gevaar voor Joshua. Ja, ja zeker, zeker. Steeds op die halve afstand. Snelle stoten. Dan komt hij rechter erover. Pijn kan doen. Met 28 kilo en dan hou je het 10 ronde vol tegen Anthony Joshua. Het is toch niet te geloven? <laughs> en geen spoor van vermoeidheid. Nee. En hij gaat door. Hop. Hij gaat gewoon door. Blijf gewoon ook meedoen. Blijf dansen. Veel goede fighting spirit. Groot hart. Ja, de en wereld. gewoon een goede bokser. Ja, zeker. Technisch, technisch goede bokser. Kijk goed. Werk naar zijn mogelijkheden. Laatste 10 seconden van ronde 10. AJ danst. Wil deze ja, oh, praat, praat ook met hem. Praat ja. met hem ja. Ja. Hij laat ze maar weglopen. Ronde 11 en wellicht ronde 12 hebben we nog te gaan. Het einde en komt met zich. Geweldige gevecht om de wereldtitel. In vier verschillende wereldtitels eigenlijk. WA, IBF, de WBO en de IBO. De enige wereldtitel die nog ontbreekt is in handen van Deontay Wilder, de WBC. Ja. Tegen Joshua of tegen Andy Ruiz. Voor het geld denk je Joshua. Beide snel. Kijk, beide snel. Ah. Wie heeft de overtuiging dat hij voldoende gedaan heeft in het gevecht? Ja. Ik heb het gevoel dat Joshua denkt dat hij op punten voor staat. Ja, zeker. Zo beweegt hij ook. Niet te veel risico meer nemen. Dat lijkt hij uit te stralen. Ja. Is dat een verstandige tactiek? Je ja, weet nooit hoe de jury de scores heeft gesteld. De Mexicaanse gesteld. hoek geeft aan, ga naar voren toe. Hoort de aanwijzingen, met die lange jab moet hij hem op afstand ja. houden. En zeker ook... maar die, die scores maken. Hè? Ja, maar zeker qua, qua score echt, echt treffen. Houden. En zeker ook... maar die, die scores maken. Hè? Ja, maar zeker qua, qua score echt, echt treffers wel... Toch iets duidelijker, denk ik, voor Joshua. Maar het gaat ook om de, het gevecht de, die, dat je aan wilt gaan. Het naar voren boksen hier van de, de wereldkampioen. Eindelijk heeft hij hem een keer klem gezet in de touwen. Dat is hem nog uh, nauwelijks gelukt. En die Ruiz probeert dat wel. Moet ook wel wat meer initiatief nemen nu. Komt ja. hij met die rechterhand er goed overheen. Joshua pareert. Nou ja, het is dit ook een ronde 11 en dadelijk 12 genoeg voor Joshua om de wereldtitel weer uh, terug te pakken. Vier gordels. Tja, wie had dit verwacht zeg, wie had dit verwacht dat het weer zo'n close call zou worden. Weet je, Mohammed Ali stijl, handelaar, hij is ervan overtuigd, dit is mijn ding. Heel goed scoort ook. Fly like a butterfly, sting like a ja. bee. AJ, AJ, aanmoedigingen van de vele Britse boxfans hier in Riyadh aanwezig. 
Als weer die jab een paar keer doorkomt. Ja. Ruiz incasseert het allemaal en probeert dichterbij te komen. Probeert nu ook die scores te maken. Moet misschien wel voor de knockout gaan. Ja, en moet ook wat meer gaan doen. Want Joshua toch neemt toch zijn punten mee. Hoor. Iedere keer weer in die, wet, in die uh, rondes. De laatste 10 seconden van ronde 11. Kan er nog wat... Uh, Verschil gemaakt worden, toch een gestoot op het lichaam. Ja, ja. scoort hij toch nog een twee puntjes. Ja, ja, maar doet hij goed in die laatste secondes. Staat ook. We gaan all the way. Twa- We gaan all the way. Twaalfde en laatste ronde. En wat een respect wint hij en die Ruiz hier af. Ja, wie weet, wie weet gaat hij gewoon wel wereldkampioen blijven. Wie van de twee boxers voelt, voelt dat hij nog wat moet uh, proberen in deze laatste ronde. Ik denk wat meer Andy Ruiz Jr. Ja, die moet wat meer doen als wereldkampioen. En die gaat ook wat meer doen. Ja. Maar is dit genoeg voor Joshua? Nou, waar kijkt de jury naar? Waar gaat hun voorkeur naar uit? Dat is wel een beetje de situatie nu. Denk ik. AJ. Dansen nog altijd goed. Meer bokser. En meer, toch wat meer scoren in mijn uh, ochtend. Maar de wereldkampioen blijft meedoen. Oh, oh wat een punch hier zeg. Score. Goed, goede scoren. Mooi scoren. Hier en het ligt weer open het oog. Ja, weer open. En dit kan toch wel laten zien van jongens die godels moeten mee. Goed Ik die al in die eerste ronde werd opengeslagen door Joshua. Ja. Nu weer volledig open. En daarmee laat hij zien, jongens, ik ben er. Ja, als je dat in ronde 1 en in ronde 12 uh, kan laten zien. En zo bewegen ook. Ja. Dan kan het toch ook uh, net bepalend zijn voor het oordeel wat de jury moet gaan vellen. Want daar lijkt het toch op uit te draaien met nog 1.20 op de klok. Opmerkelijk goed blijft hij bewegen. Wat is het toch een topatleet, Anthony ja. Joshua. Maar ook alle respect voor Andy Ruiz, die hier de doorkomt met die linker. Hij moet scoren met rechts, daar moet hij zijn tegenstander pijn doen. En dat is hem te weinig gelukt. Ja. Eén minuut nog, één minuut. En dan zit de clash on the dunes erop. Gewicht 2 tussen Joshua en Ruiz Jr. Gaat de Brit de wereldtitels terug mee naar huis nemen. Ja, twaalf ronden, zelfde plan, hè. Het zien. Laatste halve minuut gaat in. Van ronde twaalf. Hij heeft zich niet laten verrassen, zoals toen in New York. Of het moet nog gebeuren in de slotseconde. En dan kan één punch natuurlijk genoeg zijn. Ruiz komt, Ruiz moet. Ruiz voelt dat hij wel ja. echt zijn wereldtitels kwijt gaat raken. Maar hij heeft hier de grote Anthony Joshua weer... All the way genomen. Kijk maar eens even. Hij daagt hem nog even uit. Ja. Voor de laatste seconde. Ja. Kom dan maar, kom dan maar. Nee, het is over. Ja. 